Thou hast known how grievously the prophets of God, his messengers and chosen ones, have been afflicted. Meditate a while on the motive and reason which have been responsible for such a persecution. At no time, in no dispensation, have the prophets of God escaped the blasphemy of their enemies, the cruelty of their oppressors, the denunciation of the learned of their age, who appeared in the guise of uprightness and piety. Day and night they passed through such agonies as none can ever measure, except the knowledge of the one true God. Exalted be his glory. The time had come to release the sun, new dawn is rising, the promised one from the ancient tongue, cutting like a sword dividing, praying every day for the Messiah, call him Meti, when will you arrive? Everybody cried out, invoked his name for a thousand years, and now, trying to put his light out, stars falling out the sky, cause the low made high, and the high made low with a crown, rulers and the kings got it upside down. Give it to the ones who would die for the cause, lay it down right now The martyr's blood is the water for the seed in the ground They asked, who do you claim to be? He said, I am, I am, I am the promised one To make it clear as the noonday sun for all to see Those that arose knew what their fate would be Shed their blood on the dust as a martyr in the path of God To reveal his life for all to see Shake to our seat, mount your steeds O heroes of God was a call by Mullah Hussein And without the cause of God would have never come to be The most holy youth, Kadus, the great peerless one Vahid, Tahare the pure, rip the veils off the eyes so the all could see Now we're back in Tabriz, in the prison cell with the Bob is fate coming soon, his face filling up the room with delight and glee The guard interrupts a conversation saying it's time to leave Not until I have said to him all those things that I wish to say can any of the power silence me. He took the Bob and Anis with iron collars around their necks, overwhelmed with blows and disrespect. He paraded them through the streets, delivered the prisoners into the hands of the general and his whole regiment. But he was feeling anxiety, afraid of the wrath of God. Sam Khan approached the Bob. He said, I profess the Christian faith and entertain no ill will against you if you cause me the cause of truth. Enable me to free myself from the obligation to shed your blood. The reply was to proceed. And if your intention be sincere, you will surely be relieved. 10,000 gathered in view to witness history. 750 soldiers fired their rifles and up when the smoke so the nun could see. When it cleared away, all the ropes had been torn by the bullets, and the Bob had left the scene. The Bob has gone from our sight. The crowd crying out with astonishment, fear, and confusion as everyone clamored from every side. A frenzied search for the Bob came to an end just a few feet away. Back in his cell in the barracks, the Bob was completing his interrupted conversation with Sayyid Hussein. The Bob addressed the attendant. I have finished my conversation. Now you may proceed to fulfill your intention. The firing squad was replaced. The martyr's crown was his fate. Nailed up to the wall, these were the last words from the gate. O oh, wayward generation, had you believed in me, every one of you would have followed the example of this youth who stood in rank above most of you and would have willingly sacrificed himself in my path. The day will come when you will have recognized me. That day, I shall have ceased to be with you. <laughs>